what is up boys welcome to a brand new series on the channel today we are going to be playing cows fighting alliance this is basically ufc universe but another promotion and what's going to happen this is going to be like the b leagues to ufc universe so some of these guys we could see in the future in ufc universe so very excited for that we have jeremy jeffries in the red corner and uh we have i need to check bro because I, I, <laughs> I these are all new fighters that i've never seen before but we're going to see what happens very very excited for this Jeremy Jeffries v Harry Adams. Harry Adams in the blue corner. Jeremy Jeffries in the red. Here we go. So yeah, this is going to be like a feed the league. Kind of like Bellator. Kind of like a... Ooh, good shot there from Adams. Kind of like Bellator. Kind of like some of these guys. You know, we will see some of these in US Universe in the future. There are some old faces on this card as well. Marcus Dixon and Ulysses Wozovic, two former UFC Universe champions, will be fighting for the first ever CFA welterweight title. So, very exciting times. New little series going on. Submit your fighters. Oh, big shots there. Couple shots land good there from both boys. If you have a fighter in UFC Universe, you can submit him into the CFA as well. It is basically WFA, but we uh, we kind of put a CFA twist on it. So far, this fight's been fucking sick. Let's go. It does seem like Harry Adams is timing his boy a little bit better. Nice stuff there, though, from Jeremy Jeffries. Good elbow. Oh. I don't know who's going to take this. It's only a six-fight card as well. We're going to do shorter. Oh, one-two there from Jeffries. We're going to do shorter cards on the CFA. And we're going to see what happens. A couple of loops there. That took. It's been a good fight so far. Both guys getting after it. Left hook. We do see Harry Adams keep shooting for a takedown. Front kick there from Jeffries. Good body kick from Adams, though. Getting back stuck in. Up the cuts. They're throwing bombs. Fainting the kick there from Jeffries. Nice counter jab from Adams. Okay. Good fight. I don't know who's taking this fight, you know. I have no idea. Spinning shot there. Got a few shots left from Jeffries, too. Been a good way to start the series, though. I can't even lie. Oh, and now Adams lands clean. So both of these boys are 10 and 0, I believe. I can't wait to see what happens. I feel like Adams could get this done. He drops him. No, he hit him on the way down as well. That's a win for Adams. I think Jeffries can't see him surviving this, and he doesn't. Harry Adams. Picks up his first win in the CFA. Let's go. Today's second fight, Magnus Larson taking on George Locklear. We're going to see how this one goes, man. Two very good boxers. Let's see what happens. You've got Magnus there in the red corner. Locklear there in the blue. Here we go. Let's see what happens, fellas. Let's get it. Okay. Off the bat, Superman. Oh, Magnus. Big clean shot there. He is coming out aggressive. Locklear takes the canvas very early. How will he adapt? I like Locklear's stance, though. The John Dodson stance is very nice. Nice leg kick there. Magnus, though. What a combo. Magnus Larson with a knockdown. Let's see what happens. Some big shots landing here on the ground. It looks like one of them, Larson, tries to stand. Nice. Larson's got power, man. Good check. These combos are nasty. Locklear in trouble again. Could be seeing a quick finish here from Magnus. Okay. Magnus back up again. Locklear's got to keep his hands up, man. It's that distance. Magnus is really controlling that distance well. Good jab, uppercut. Locklear's trying them kicks. That's what he needs to do. He keep that range and use them kicks. Kick the leg a little bit. Magnus started the fight very well. Nice high kick from Locklear, though. It ain't over yet. Oh, now it is. It would have been, but Magnus backed up there. But he could still get the finish. Very close there. Magnus, Magnus Larson nearly getting it done. 
I like the way these guys fight, man. So we could see some like future sign-ins here. These could be future UFC Universe champions, which is crazy to even think. Hey, stand up. Good leg kick there. Oh, what a shot. Magnus Larson does not disappoint. Stops Jules Locklear in round number one. Beautiful finish. One, two, boom, boom. Big win. Big win. Up next, we've got Robert Graves taking on Kaigar Pakradouini. I think I said that right. I don't even know. We're going to dive in. Let's see what happens. Very, very excited for this. Let's get it. Here we go. So we got Pakra, uh, Pakra doing it. We're just going to call him Kaiga in the blue corner we got there. Roberts in the red. Let's see what happens. Very excited for this fight, man. Kaiga, the brother of Sarkis, who is a UFC Universe fighter and top contender. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Good shots there. Ooh, good time fire, though, from Kaiga. Roberts Graves, though, with some nice boxing. Oh, he timed him with the kick. Robert Graves. Some combos coming in for him. Let's see what Kaiga can do. Nice combinations from Kaiga. With only one shot landed, he's putting them together. Robert Graves switching stars. Dude, this, this card so far has been fire. He ain't done yet, boys. Let's see what happens. Couple of shots lands. Oh. I'd like to see Kaiga maybe try and take this to the mat. Good left hook. He's got to watch the tricky kicks of Graves, though. Oh. Kaiga there with some nice movement. He could hip toss him here. Good elbow. I feel like Kaiga might be taking over. Look at them combos, bro. Oh, he shot him down with overhand. Damn. This fight so far has been mad. Good left hook. I like Kaiga's stance too. The hands up high. Robert there fainted a flying knee. Ooh. Good left hook from Graves. It's been a really good fight so far. I still think fight of the night is the first fight we had. Jeffries and uh, Adams. Ducking roundhouse from Kaiga. I've got to say, so far, man, this fight's been fucking mad. High level, boys. These boys are something else. Big straight there. Oh, the combo for Kaiga. What a shot. I'm liking Kaiga. I'm liking Graves as well, man. Both of these guys are beasts. Big knee. Uppercut from Kaiga. Leg kick from Robert. Nice leg kick again there. He's working them legs. Kaiga, though, intelligently switches stars. Front kick from Graves. Wars. I hope you boys have got your popcorn. <laughs> Left hook there from Graves. This could be going to the second round. Superman punch from Kaiga. Something about that Peter Yan AI, man. When it gets you hurt, it will go for the kill. And down goes Graves. This could be all over. Kaiga flattens him out. He could have finished that if he had ground and pounded him. I think it's too late for a submission. But you're probably going to give this round to Kaiga. Robert, though, did get up. Interesting. Oh! <laughs> oh! Kaiga! What a finish! Damn! Up next, we have Samuel Stevenson taking on Anwar Rizzini. I think I'm saying that right. Probably not. Let's get it, boys. These fights have been crazy. Up next, we have Anwar on the left, and we have Samuel Stevenson on the right. Very excited for this fight, man. I think Anwar could be the next big star, but Samuel Stevenson has a very, very good star. We're going to see what happens. This one could be a bomb run. Let's go. Here we go. Anwar in the red corner. Stevenson in the blue. Here we go. Good push kick there. Ooh. Oh, oh. Stevenson. He's coming out aggressive. He's got them hands. Good left hook there from Stevenson. He does shoot. But a nice denial there from Anwar. Good elbow. Stevenson coming back. Good left hook from Anwar. Down goes Stevenson. Bro, these fights have been mental. Anwar gets back up. Stevenson trying to get them takedowns. Anwar denies. 
one two there. Oh no. Okay. Let's see what happens. Stevenson maybe with a hip toss. No, Anwar's doing a really good job of denying the grappling attempts here. Oh. Body work from both men. Anwar's looking good though. Stevenson just cannot seem to get Anwar to the ground though. Good knee. Good knee back there from Anwar though. Good slip. Oh, the uppercut and the high kick. Stevenson with a knockdown. Bro. What do you know about wars? Oh, but Stevenson fell into an overhand and Anwar now. What a fight. Fight of the night, I'd say so, so far. But that Kaigar fight was pretty good. They're going punch for punch in this bitch. One, two there. High kick lands, but it wasn't too clean. Nice body shot there. Couple shots land. Oh, that pull counter was nasty from Stevenson. That pull counter was nasty, and Stevenson now has Anwar exactly where he wants him. Let's see what happens. He's going for a sub. Can he get it? Stevenson could be the real deal, man. That was a nasty knockdown. He's got him. He's got him. 30 seconds left on the clock, though. He's got to be a little bit quick about this, but it looks like he's going to get it. Can Amwar get saved by the bell? I don't think so. I think that is all over. Samuel Stevenson. The first submission in CFA history. What a victory. He's going to be a star. Up next, we have Bravisius Initum taking on Mohamed Nakobo. Very excited for this fight, man. This one's going to be a beast, I think. I think if Mohamed gets a hold of Bravisius, it could be a bad night. But if Bravisius can keep his range, use his boxing, he could get a finish. We'll see, though. Bravisius there looking very unique and odd. <laughs> and Mohamed Nakobo ready for war. Here we go. Let's see what happens. It's straight there. He, he fainted the overhand there. Nice shots though from Bravisius. Jab there. And Kobo. Let's see what he can do. Nice takedown defense there from Bravisius. Kobo's whole game, I believe. Oh! is to get a hold of you, but he got a knockdown there and that could be bad for Bravisius, man. Could be really, really bad. It's Nakobo. He's a very good wrestler. We could be seeing some ground and pound. It's very early in the round. He's already mounted, and this is not good for Bravisius. Posture's up. Nakobo. Lands in big bombs. Go for a submission by the looks of it. Trying to get an arm. He has got it. Will he get it, though? Will he full-on get the submission? I have no idea. It looks likely. Twisting the wrist. Going to try and get his leg over his head. He gets it. This is all over. This is all over. Mohamed Nakobo. Second submission win in CFA history. Big win for Nakobo. Damn. Now we have the main event. Marcus Dixon the Ulysses Rozovic for the undisputed CFA title. Let's see what happens, man. I'm excited. Marcus Dixon, Ulysses, Rozovic, both former champions in the UFC. We're going to see how they fare in the CFA. Here we go. Title on the line. The main event of the evening. Here we go. We've got Marcus Dixon there in the red corner. Ulysses, Rozovic in the blue. Here we go. Let's see what happens, boys. I'm very excited. The first main event of CFA. Let's see what happens. Big elbow there for Dixon. Rozovic looks ready. Dixon looks a lot heavier than Rozovic. Oh, look at that. Mixes it in. He's got the leg. Good takedown there from Marcus Dixon. Rozovic got a cut on the eye already. That could have been from the elbow. 
Dixon here posturing up, doing what he does. This isn't good for Rozovic. Marcus Dixon nearly finishes in there. Jeez. Looking for a neck. Gets the Bulldog. This is Dixon's specialty. Rozovic is no scrub, though. This could be very close. It looks like Rozovic might even get out of this. Dixon, though, pushes the hand. He pushes the hand? Pushes the hand down. I was, I was mixed between hand and arm there. Dixon's got that choking tire. Dixon cranking on the neck. This could be over. It is. Marcus Dixon is the first ever welterweight champion for CFA. And there he is there. We're going to see a shot of him with the belt in a minute. He is a serial fucking winner, Marcus Dixon. Rozovic will be back. We didn't even get a chance to see how good Rozovic is because he is one of the best. And I do think we could see these two run it again. But what a win for the man himself. The organ grinder gets it done again. Look at that takedown. Boom. Unbelievable finish there for Marcus Dixon. Again, another submission in the CFA. The third ever submission. It's just a bit annoying that Casey got the first, but there you go. <laughs> Good win, though. Massive win for him. And now we're going to see him there with the first ever CFA title. Marcus Dixon has done it. Insane. Alrighty, boys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more CFA next time. Stelson, guys, have a great day. See you all again in the next one.